The National Biotechnology and Biosafety Bill provides for a regulatory framework to facilitate safe development and application of biotechnology. But activists and a Uganda women's think tank say these biotech seeds plants are too expensive to maintain and will do away with indigenous seeds or plants. The products they bring, they decay fast. We had this bacterial banana wilt and you have shown us on the map how it has been spreading and there hasn't been very much effort to deal with it. Experts believe that adoption of GMOs will increase food production and in the process reduce hunger and malnutrition. Remember, they really can't balance their land. The, the worst hit district in Uganda is Busheni district. In Busheni district, the people eat bananas for breakfast, bananas for lunch, bananas for supper and for snack and for taking to school. And in most cases, or in some cases, they can't even have sauce. They will put sauce. However, they are cautious and add that countries which adopt GMOs should ensure that such foods are safe for human consumption. We need a law to protect us, not a law to market us, not a law to promote. We need a law that is based on the understanding of what research means in Uganda, what the governance structure is, governance issues in Uganda. Stakeholders all agree that before they are put on the market, they must be all labeled to give the customer a choice. The world's leading producers of GMOs include United States, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, India, and China. Aviona Francisco, UBC.